Alright, what's going on guys? Luke have another PvP build for the Firestorm patch. I'm our Magicka Templar. With a strong 1VX build. Back bar. Something different this time with a Tashon Ice stuff. Deals a good amount of single target damage if we apply Elemental Drain or the other morph Elemental Susceptibility. Which got buffed by the way. It afflicts now Burning, Chilled and Concussion. All three status effects and it's permanently up. Really powerful. And on top still, like Elemental Drain, gives Major Breach. Then front bar Burning Spell Weave with a ton of weapon and spell damage. You can easily proc it with uh, Flame Damage ability, in this case with Vampire's Bane. Did some tests with Spell Power Cure. Works similar, uptime is a little bit lower. Kinda hard to overheat on the front bar. Then Mythic Maracoon, Mara's Balm as defensive set. And one mark by Incarnate as filler for X Magic and Stamina region. I'm on three heavy pieces. The rest light armor. With one sturdy, one well fitted, and five impen. Full prismatic on the body. Jewelry, full infused, two spell damage, and one prismatic region. Front but two maces, thanks a pen, neon sharp. Flame Poison and Backbun, like I said, nice stuff in defending with the Berserker Glyph, alternative with the Escapist Poisons. Skills, front bar toppling charge, our CC, and on top a gap closer, really useful against those streaking sorks or in general Zerklings, which are just running away. Power of the Light for minor breach and a ton of burst damage. By the way, Power of the Light and Perfect Light. Both morphs are hybrid now, means they scale on your highest offensive stat, not like before. Portal skate with weapon damage and perfect spell damage, pretty decent now. Punction sweeps, spammable. Vampire Spain to proc burning spell weave and for major prophecy. And on top a decent dot. Degeneration for major sorcery. Crash and sweep as uh, aggressive ultimate. Alternative go with Dawnbreaker. Back bar elemental susceptibility, like I said, for major breach and all three status effects. Race against time, a snare removable, honor the dead, a spurs tier, chant focus for sustain and our resistance buff, extended ritual purge and healing, and back bar remembrance as defense ultimate. Better option would be temporal guard for minor protection, but as you can see, I don't have it here. Ray Snort, not the best choice, but it's also my Stempler. Better choice would be Breton, High Elf, or Danmo. As Mundus the Atonite for Magicka region. Clockwork Hitus Filius Buff Food. 29 points in Magicka and the rest in health. Like this, we are at around over 31k HP. Potions, only the Tricer Potions. Sometimes the Detention Potions, but definitely need Tricer Potions for the Stamina region. Blue CP, Spiting Aura, Master Dumps, Exploit and Ironclad. Why Exploiter? Simply thanks to Toppling Charge, we can also set the enemy off balance for extra 10% damage. Red CP Standard, Sustained by Suffering, Pains Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Quick talk about one PvP combination. Start with Elemental Susceptibility, Degeneration and Vampire's Bane. Then Potter into Toppling Charge, Crash and Sweep. And then spam punch and sweeps. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the gameplay footage. Don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below. I would really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace. Is this what giving up feels like? I don't know. I don't know. Tell me have I lost my mind? Nowhere to go, so far from home Is this what giving up feels like? I don't know, I don't know Tell me have I lost my mind? So I break these walls and hold my head up high And I step my ground until the day I die